within this constructor. Let's go, let's type this, dot m, part id, equals part id, this, dot, m price, equals price, this, dot, Product description equals product description. This dot m create date equals creation date. And this dot replacement part equals replacement part ID. And lastly in the class, let's, let's go pr create a method. So when it's going to be public, it's going to be virtual, so it can be overridden. If this class is inherited, it's going to re return an integer, get part age. It's going to accept the date time of the creation date and a date time current date. return current date dot subtract creation date dot days to create a stored procedure we go into our server explorer click on stored procedure right click and add new stored procedure I always like to put a header in there just to show who and when it was created we're going to call it get company products. It's going to have one parameter. It's going to be called PRM company ID. It's going to be an inchar of 10. And select, go part ID, the price, the product description, creation date, and replacement part ID. That'd be from. Product table. It's going to be where company ID equals the parameter that we pass it. Let's rename product description to part description. The, the data access component to retrieve product data based on company. We're going to create and populate a list collection with data. We're going to add a child grid, grid view and select functionalities to the ASP.NET page. And we're going to add code to populate the child grid view. Let's go open our company data access component where we're going to create a method that is going to execute the stored procedure we just created and then load the results into a list collection. We need to add the libraries that contain the list, which is system.collections.generic. Let's go add the function. I'm going to call it public static. It's going to return a list of our product product list class we created. It's going to be called get company products. And it's going to accept a parameter called company ID. 
Let's let's create an instance of our list list product list product list equals new product list. Then using SQL command equals new SQL command. I'm gonna tell it's it's a stored procedure. USP git company products and we're gonna pass it our connection from our connection manager. And we're gonna tell it to tell it it's a stored procedure. And we're gonna add a parameter to it. Command dot parameters dot add. Company ID. So now we'll execute it and populate the return values into the product list class. We did that by using another using SQL data reader reader equals command dot execute reader command behavior. Return a single result and command behavior dot. I'm going to close the connection. So while reader dot read. In our product list class. was new product list so reader dot get string zero reader dot get decimal one reader dot get date time And reader dot get string four and then product list dot add and then I'm going to return the product list. I made a typo. You need, need to add the reader dot get string to. So let's go add the child grid view to our ASP.NET file. Let's add some breaks in there. And the grid view. Copied some of the look and feel from the first grid view. And the ID of this one will be company product grid view.